Boom! How's it going? How's it going? It is another day again where we are going to be having some amazing stuff. I've got some guests today and uh, within this guest that I have today, ladies and gentlemen, they've put up an event for 2023 for entrepreneurs, people like you and me. And um, let me, I, I don't think I should waste some time. Let me bring them on and hear what they've got for you. Uh, and these two, they are not new to our community. Welcome, welcome, hey, to the entrepreneur and Papa Biz. Welcome. Thank How's you, it? Thank you so much. Good to be back. Very well, thanks. Um, if this is like your first time being here, um, go and check out some of the other videos where we we have hosted um, uh, both Papa Biz in his personal capacity, representing his family, um, and then Hetty as well. I think she came through and then she met one of my other uh, business partner, Reta, and uh, an amazing story there as well. So the two are not new to the community, but the reason why I've invited them is because they are having, I think, one of the coolest event that you and I needs to be. You remember, I'm always saying to you guys, let's go and meet other people because business is about people. So there's an event that they've put up together. Uh, but for some of you who may not know who Hetty uh, and uh, Papa Biz are, I'm gonna give them uh, an opportunity to introduce themselves and then we can dive in into the uh, event that's coming up in December. The reason why we are talking about it today is because you gotta prepare, right? <laughs> and the starts before the event. Uh, so I'm going to start with Hetty. Hetty, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the TJ Tribe. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Very, very exciting and uh, looking forward to the event as well. So my name is Hetty, the entrepreneur. I'm a monetization expert and, you know, we own a monetization agency. So very, very excited to be here. Awesome stuff. Um, she is married to Papa Biz. Um, Can you believe it? <laughs> Go ahead, <Bobby. laughs> Now it's cool, man. Thanks for the intro. It's good to be to be back on the platform. I think we had <clears throat> we had a conversation some period back, and yeah. So myself, uh, Papa Biz, I'm married to Hetty. So we've got uh, different businesses that we've been involved uh, in over the years, and the one that's been more prominent for some time now is just the digital monetization agency. And yeah, I'll be quite excited uh, with all the different entrepreneurs we've been working with um, over the years. There's been quite a, a need in, and, and, a, and a request to have a, a physical um, session uh, this year. We had actually done one last year on a smaller scale. There was about 150 people. So yeah, now we're looking to do one on a, on a bigger scale. We've invited uh, friends of our community to, to be there that some of you would, uh, would know well. And yeah, thanks for the platform, TJ, just to talk through this and let everybody know what's going to be happening. And thanks you for saying that it's going to be a cool uh, session coming from you. That's a nice one. Nice one. <laughs> thanks, brother. Um, so so I want to say to, to you guys, the reason why I've invited both Power Bees and AT, and you guys, you know me, I do not normally promote anyone else. Um, so the reason why I've invited the, the couple here is because they... They align heavily with what we talk about here. Um, so I want to drop to drop some of those things. Number one, they are husband and wife. They are doing business, uh, and we are always promoting here at the TJ Tribe. Do business together because you already said I do. So make the money together so that when you grow older and old, you got the money, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing, they are also uh, people of faith, just like me. Um, and um, besides that, they have a passion of growing other people. Uh, and most importantly, I do think that uh, the number one is that they are also in the real estate game. Um, and real estate, I always say to people, um, you can earn money today and you can preserve it for yourself when you're growing older and you can still have the same business and the same assets as and when you're growing older, meaning that you are preserving for the next generation. 
But remember, our mandate is not for the next generation. It is for the third generation, not your kids, but the other kids and the other kids. That's your mandate. Uh, and uh, you can't do that if you have your hands underneath your bum. Uh, you got to be an entrepreneur. That is why Hetty, she's an entrepreneur. And that's why I've invited them to say, me and you, we need to go to this event. Um, so it's not just anyone else. It's people that are also doing the same things that we're doing, just in a different um, scenario or different taste of business, but we all together. But I want to ask a couple of questions, guys, before actually we jump in into this um, event itself. So number one, um, I, I'm going to ask Haiti on this question here, right? Uh, mm. Because you are the one who's coining the entrepreneur, right? Uh, <laughs> it makes you the entrepreneur and makes all of us others, others, I suppose. Um, <laughs> now, so, so, so you having this function, Papa Bezos <laughs> already indicated that last year you guys had this event. Uh, and there's about 100 people. And yeah. what I want to ask is that, what is the year in function all about? Mm. So the entrepreneur's year in function, it's similar to, you know, when people are in corporate, when you work for an organization like a big company, you'll normally have a year in function. They'll take you out for lunch or you'll do an activity and they're really spoiling you after working very hard and putting your time and energy into the company throughout the year. But entrepreneurs, that very seldom happens. Even when an entrepreneur has the finances to be able to do so, they seldom actually take aside that time to be able to spoil themselves and to be able to have a day out of the office or out of the shop or wherever it is that they may be. So the Entrepreneurs Year in Function is a gathering of entrepreneurs that we are coming after pouring into our businesses after a year of working very, very hard. So I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a gathering of over 400 entrepreneurs. So you can imagine we are really going big with this. And over and above that, we've got different elements throughout the day that's going to be an immersive experience. I must be honest with you, Tarai, we are creating something that we've never seen before. And that is right. exciting. Yeah. So so you've touched a point. I've been an entrepreneur myself for a, for a while. And within the last two years, I had a bit of a dip. Uh, and within that dip, it hit my my health. Uh, yeah. And I started having a conversation with my business coach around it after I came out of it and I was well and, and so on like that. Mm. And he started saying, look, I'm, I'm going to stop talking to you about your business. I'm going to focus mm -hmm. on you. And, yes. and how well, so, so one of the, the things that he said to me is, when was the last time you just spent a day in every seven day cycle that you spent it on Tarai. When, when was that? Do you have a day like that? And I'm like, uh, no. And he says to me, okay, great. Uh, when was the last time you bought something for you to feel good? Mm. And, um, I don't really have the time for doing that. I don't know, Power Biz, yeah. maybe he does that, but I don't. Yeah. So a lot of the things that I'm doing this year is exactly what you've just said now which is appreciating me. And you are now saying that you've taken this actually at a bigger scale to say, hey, we know that you don't do this and we're going to create a platform where you can do it already. Um, yes, absolutely. Bits, That's right. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, no, I think it's quite important just in terms of what you're saying, right? Good, good. So so my, I've got a question to you, brother. Um, and is this event only meant for entrepreneurs or, or who is it meant for? Well, it's been interesting. I mean, we've been uh, marketing the event for some time and we see, especially in not only in the African, but more specifically in the South African uh, ecosystem, we've seen a very specific um, demographic in terms of what's been going on. And I can put it like this, 60% of the people who have been purchasing the tickets already, they're in corporate. 
you know, they have a job and you can see from the feedback, you know, they'd like to do something, like to add something uh, in terms of what they're already doing. And <clears throat> they're pretty good at what they're already doing in, in their career. But of course, they'd like right. to add something. Yeah. And uh, and then the other 30 percent we are seeing is different. I mean, these are people, they are already entrepreneurs. But they already got some that they're quite involved in. Uh, a lot of them, you know, quite good at or, or and they want to be better. They want to network with with others, like-minded people, so they can elevate themselves. And yeah, we're seeing mm-hmm. yeah about ten percent of those that have bought as well. They they're pretty big guys, uh, big guys and big girls. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, they they're looking to impart you know their wisdom. Some of them are looking to fund um, other businesses and things like that. So it's quite a cross uh, section and and cross a collection of of, of different uh, interests that are already going to be coming through which we welcome, we're well pleased that we're going to be able to see. So, so yeah, we're looking right. forward to it. Amazing stuff. Uh, Hetty, wh- when is the <coughs> event? You know, we speak of the event, um, but when is it? It's on the 2nd of December. We are literally ushering in the festive season. So it's a Saturday, it's a full day event, and it's going to be amazing. So we've actually got three pillars for this event. The first pillar is purpose. Right. And that pillar allows us to have important conversations. So we've got different speakers. Our headline speaker is Vusi Tembeguayo. Um, he oh, is a br- yeah. <laughs> He's a, a brilliant entrepreneur, investor, public speaker. Our second um, keynote speaker is Mpumi Lidwaba. She's a digital entrepreneur, YouTuber, podcaster. We've got various other speakers and panel conversations as well. So that is the purpose pillar. Then we've got Pampa. We've got immersive experiences. We've got prize giveaways. We are spoiling the entrepreneurs. And then the third and final pillar is profit. Now, this is an important pillar because all of us are in business for profit. If your business does not generate some kind of revenue, then it means it's a hobby in essence. So because this is such an important pillar for entrepreneurs, there's funding that's being given away. We are bringing entrepreneurs in front of institutions that serve entrepreneurs. So that means if you're looking for access to funding, access to markets, access to mentorship and coaching and opportunities, This is a space you have to be in because we are literally putting you in front of the people that can help you within your business. Amazing stuff. Uh, So, Power Biz, I know me and you, we don't have the looks that um, uh, Vusi has got, right? Um, So, I told... Uh, Speak speak for yourself, please. Speak for yourself. (laughs) I, I, I told three of my uh, business partners and all of them, they are all females. And so I just na- mentioned that Vusi is going to be there. And and all of them at the same time went, went which Vusi? And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, Vusi Tempekai. And then they're like, I'm buying. So I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you buying? Because Vusi, and then they're like, yo, of course, Vusi looks good. And they started talking about Vusi looking good. And I'm like, okay, great. Uh, I think um, besides the joking part around the looks of Vusi, uh, I also say to them, money can make you look good as well, right? Um, other than uh, money gives you options. Um, so you can do many of things that you were, you were not able to do before. Uh, but probably Biz, I'm gonna come back to, to, to you, um, and if, if for whatever reason that I am not in the country, on the 2nd of December. <clears throat> Can I attend the event? 100%. I mean, so I'm, I'm glad you, you asked that. And I think one thing, just on a serious note with Vusi, uh, he's been uh, our mentor for quite some time now, Hiti and I, over the years. We were actually uh, in his first uh, program, which is the, the top 40, where he selected uh, 40, con- 40 companies around South Africa to mentor and potentially look to invest uh, and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, we came out number one um, in, in, in that program, Haiti and I. And, you know, we've learned a lot from him since then as he's run the, the different programs. He has a passion for entrepreneurs. He has a passion for entrepreneurship. And he has an ability to be able to um, just articulate the, the challenges, the needs, the desires of the entrepreneur that many around the world are completely unable to, uh, which is quite a gift. 
Um, I, I think the other thing that I've seen is that, um, you know, for, for, for those that uh, will not be able to to make it, I mean, this is something that we have uh, considered as well, those who will be physically unable to. We're having um, a lot of people who have actually requested that are going to be flying in that are not even based in Johannesburg or Pretoria. Great. Some that are even Great. flying, you know, outside of South Africa to get there to the conference. We've actually even managed to um, get a sponsorship partner from from a travel agency who will be assisting with that, which we, we we're quite happy to have them on board. And and what we're also going to be doing is we're going to have a um, an online uh, link for for those who can be able to view uh, the conference uh, online. Um, that that we're going to be looking to to push forward, and uh, yeah, we're quite excited about that because we have received those type of requests where. For some other reason, you know, somebody you know is unable to come through. We've received requests from Nigeria, Ghana, um, from the rest of the continent, where they're asking about that as well. Okay, cool. I think for me, whenever we have these events going on, especially now that we are out of COVID uh, and people, we can still meet face to face. I think first priority is always to be in the room, uh, and I'm of the view that you don't know whom you're going to meet in the room. Uh, that's Absolutely. the first thing. And then number two, um, I always say to people, being online is cool. It's like having a girlfriend uh, or boyfriend and it's long distance relationship, right? Mm. So being in flesh is always good yeah, uh, or having being in person. Uh, so Hetty, I wanted to ask the question that mm. Papa Biz already is, is, is started mentioning that uh, you guys have been uh, mentored by uh, Vusi and uh, yes. you know, you've been immense with some of his teaching. I see a lot of people that go into business and they mm. go it alone. They get out of mm. the employment and they, they are good at what they do in the employment. They've been especially, they've been a young executive <clears throat> and they just the ground running and boom a lot of things go wrong what are some of the things that you think you have a you have a coach and a mentor yourself and yeah. you're also a mentor to others uh but what are some of the things that you have seen that has been beneficiary to you or both of you as a as a couple uh in terms of having a mentor and and, and let us know if someone is sitting on the fence right now and they're yeah. like I don't know. Maybe this this is not for me. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, there's a strange thing that happens in entrepreneurship where right. for some bizarre reason, entrepreneurs think that they can run their business on their own without help from anybody. Right. It's the strangest thing. I don't know where we get that from. Because even in corporate, there are people under you, there are people on top of you, and there are people beside you. And right. every single person's role feeds into the ecosystem and keeps the organization running. Now, entrepreneurs, often at times, we start out as solopreneurs. So it means that you're physically doing everything in your business. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. However, we need to understand that to run a successful business, you cannot do it on your own. And not doing it on your own does not mean that you need to employ 5, 10 or 20 people before you have the financial capacity to do so. It right. is being able to identify somebody who has walked the path before you and say, hey, I am 10 steps behind you. Can you help me? It is saying, let me take a book and read and gain information that I do not have. It is saying, let me listen to a podcast and apply the principles that are being spoken about. So this notion that entrepreneurship is lonely is actually a fallacy. It is lonely because you have chosen to sit in your corner, to not raise your hand and ask for help, 
to not attend an event and network, to not book a consultation with a Taurai or a Heti or whoever that can actually be able to help you along <coughs> your journey. Right. And it is important to have people you can bounce off. I mean, I literally network with people who are even in completely different industries, the restaurant industry. It will give you a different perspective and a different vision to actually expand your brain to see things differently. So I think it is so important that we normalize mentorship, that we normalize self-education, and that we normalize intentionally placing ourselves in spaces that will allow us to grow and pour back into our businesses. If I could just come in quickly, just Tara on that one. I mean, Hetty is far better at articulating uh, these matters. I'm, I'm sure you can pick up on that. <laughs> she, she's um, she's risen between the two of you. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I was, I was uh, watching a, a video this this week and I was reminded, I was listening basically to uh, Michael Jordan. I mean, he was former uh, CEO at, at First Rent. And uh, he basically spoke about how it's interesting because after he went on his own, he realized uh, something very specific, which is that in corporate, you know, a lot of people are able to hide uh, the incompetence and inaction in uh, expensive suits. Right. And, uh, you know, he knows that to be true. And I've also seen that to be true myself as well, where, you know, once you're going on your own and, and uh, as an entrepreneur, there's so many things that you need to do. And then you start thinking to yourself, Yo, I mean, compared to what I'm doing now, I actually was completely incompetent where I was before. <laughs> I wasn't doing that much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. you know, as an entrepreneur as well, I mean, it's not about the suits. It's, it's mo mostly about the product or the service, the offering, and if it actually makes sense to your, your target audience. And it's about building that ecosystem and that understanding in terms of what is actually required in order to to move the needle forward. And, and like Hetty said, often, you know, one thinks that you need to do it all on your own and that doesn't make sense at all. I don't know where we got that idea from and we all have it, but, uh, you know, yeah, it's important to move uh, past I, that. Yeah, I get that one. So I'm going to come back to Hetty. Hetty, you, you spoke about, or should I say Papa Biz earlier on mentioned that there's quite a lot of people that are joining in who are in the corporate at the moment. Uh, and mm -hmm. there's quite a lot of people that are also joining who have their own business and some that are quite yeah. bigger as well, you know, in their journey. Um, mm -hmm. But for someone else who's listening right now and they're head and head uh, about the event and they're wanting to participate um, mm -hmm. within the event because, you know, as entrepreneurs, we always see an opportunity somewhere. Um, and um, what is the opportunities that are there at the moment uh, to collaborate with you guys on this event? Because you you, you did mention that there they is some uh, already other companies that are sort of reaching out to you guys to say, can we do something together? Can we do that? Yes. Um, what, 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 what should we be, if I'm that guy today, how yeah. should I be engaging with you guys uh, for collaboration? So, gosh, we have got so many different ways in which you can um, actually work with us through sponsorship collaboration. And we right. highly, highly recommend it for individuals, particularly where their business or organization services entrepreneurs. Right. Because we work with entrepreneurs all the time. So if you provide a product, a service, a solution, for entrepreneurs, this event is an opportunity for you to literally get in front of your customer and not just one of them, over 400 of them. So right. if you are looking for that, we would say definitely reach out to us. We've got an email address, Karen at hittytheentrepreneur.com. Pop us an email, pop us a DM on the socials, and we will be able to sit with you and put together a tailored package that will suit what your objectives are. People, right. you know, this, this event really is meant to be a bridge between the entrepreneur and institutions that service entrepreneurs. So it's an opportunity you literally do not want to miss. Over and above that, if you listen to this, you're a small business, maybe you've got a product that you uh, do or a service that you offer, 
and you would like to be able to showcase that we do have small exhibition stores for small businesses as well um, and you are able to to showcase um, through our curated marketplace as well. So it's just Karen at HettyTheEntrepreneur.com. Pop us a DM or click the link in our bio on all our social platforms and you'll be able to access information and be in contact with our team. Awesome stuff. Um, <clears throat> the uh, as the plane begins to land, um, I am going to ask a question to both of you, one question each. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'll start off with Papa Bees. Papa Bees, the, yes. the event is cool, right? You got a solid lineup. Some of these names that people that I respect myself, um, some of them are younger to me and some of them are older to me. Uh, some of them have, have been grinding very, very well over the years. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and I respect them individually in their capacity and in the craft. Now that the event is going to come and go post the 2nd of December, mm -hmm. right? I'm now lonely throughout the year. Um, as an entrepreneur, Papa Bees, what are some of the things that of outside the this event, what are some of the other things that maybe the community will be able to save me uh, as an entrepreneur? Are, are there other things or there's nothing for now? Uh, yeah. Okay, now that's a good question, and I'm glad that you raise it, even just in terms of the, the speakers. It's actually funny enough with what you mentioned earlier. Uh, I found that, you know, when I talk with uh, with guys and I tell them that the Fusi Temple guy is going to be there, they're like, hey, I'm in. They buy tickets. And and with the lady friends that I know, and when I tell them that Mfumi Ledwaba is going to be speaking there, that's when <laughs> their interest peaks up and they, they say, hey, I'm in. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's a cross-section for, for everybody. Uh, you, you know, something that, that, that we've picked up is we do uh, a lot of work with entrepreneurs throughout the year. I mean, uh, even especially this year, you know, Haiti and I, we, we released um, <laughs> we released a book at the beginning of the year. So, so hey, it's all right. We, we're now authors. Amazing stuff. <laughs> yeah, so we've joined we, your we club. Need, I mean, thanks for the inspiration. So that we, can, we can learn more around it. Uh, I wasn't aware of that one, but I need to read it too. <laughs> no, no, 100%. I mean, I remember... <laughs> when we had our first session and, and I was seeing your books and I was thinking, you know, one day we, we're going to put that together. So thanks for leading the way. So, yeah, I mean, so what we've seen, I mean, since we, we came out with the book, I mean, there's been such a desire just to learn and, and, and just an appreciate in terms of gaining knowledge around just how one can build um, uh, digital marketing strategies and monetization strategies that they can apply in, in, in one's business. We've had quite a number of uh, doctors and lawyers even uh, just getting involved in terms of oh you know i've never thought about applying it you know like this and it's been it's been really helpful so we've had different uh, platforms that we engage with you know just throughout uh, the year and now obviously it's going to culminate with with the entrepreneurs year in function but we're going to look to grow you know just bigger and better um just uh, next year and uh, one thing that i've definitely seen and we've heard that quite often is that you know, by engaging in platforms like this and, and continuing, you know, one's able to build and expand their network. And sometimes we just use it as, as English. But when, when you genuinely invest, you actually do get to realize that your network builds up to become your net worth. And it's important to, in terms of who you are engaging with, uh, to be able to lift yourself up. Because, you know, one does get uh, lonely throughout uh, the year. Uh, and sometimes one gets stuck. And when you get stuck, sometimes those things, you can't get the answer immediately in the book, you know? And and so, you know, we definitely intending, you know, to expanding and then plugging everybody into the rest of the um, events that we're going to be having uh, throughout the year. We've got um, even a mentorship programs that I think you can talk to a, a bit more um, outside of those that choose to become our clients that we manage on a month-to-month -month basis. Amazing yeah, stuff. You, you speak of the uh, the point of your network is your net uh, your net worth. Um, both of us were in the real estate space about yeah. five years ago. I bought a building, uh, five million, and <coughs> we, we gross incoming about one hundred and twenty now. The estate agent that sold that building, we kept in contact, and. Mm. About three months ago, he reached out to me and he says, TJ, I know of an elderly investor 
who is offloading everything at around about 40% discount if you have to take everything. Wow. Look at that. Where where would I ever have a deal like that if it's not within mm -hmm. the network? That's 100%. It. Uh, there you go. So I appreciate, you know, raising this point. Uh, Hetty, I'm going to come to you now around the pricing. And are there any specials for this event? I mean, we are only in September at the moment. And we are already talking about this event coming through in um, at the end of the year, on the 2nd of December specifically. It's a full day yes. affair um, at a hotel. Uh, we didn't mention which hotel. On the website, so we're going to create... Um, in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to pin a comment where you can just hit and you hit that yeah. link to take you to the, to the website. And yes. on the website, basically, whatever that we've spoken about here and more, there'll be yes. more on the website as well. So web, the website yes. can guide you. But Haiti, uh, what are the payments looking like at the moment? All right, so we've got, um, we started off with early bird. We are now with our spring bird tickets. It is the month of right. September after all. So we've got spring bird tickets that are valid up until uh, the 30th of September at midnight. So you definitely want to get a hold of those before the month is over. So we've got discounted tickets. The standard ticket is 990. Um, we've got a bestie combo, which allows you to get two tickets at a discount mm -hmm. to come with your partner, your friend, your business partner, or whoever it may be that you feel you want to come with. We've also got a VIP ticket. Now, this is for that serious entrepreneur who wants to be able to have lunch with the speakers, lunch with some of the speakers, the sponsors, the partners, etc. They really want to be able to network and be in the room with the who's who. That Those are for those individuals. So those VIP tickets are there as well. So we've got an array of different types of tickets that suit everybody's pocket and needs. So you just want to click on the link, go onto there, secure your spot. Um, I will be honest, because this is a curated event and we're going all out to make sure that we give you excellence personified, that means that we are not targeting 2,000 people, etc. Once we've reached our maximum number of people, that is it. So you definitely want to secure your ticket as soon as possible to make sure that you are in the room. There is magic that happens when you are in the room. I was listening to TD Jakes the other day and he was talking about how there's certain things that will just hit you because you were in the room. And I mean, having been mentored by Vusi ourselves and being mentored by different, really incredible individuals, I think some of the things that we've learned from them the most have honestly been transferred via osmosis. It's not right. what they said, but how they navigate. And you can only get that through firsthand experience. Yeah, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. How are busy, you wanna close off there? No, I think I'm hit, you, uh, uh, hit the nail on the head because basically it's just that understanding that even in entrepreneurship and everything is that there are some things that are taught, they're not actually taught. And, and, and that's, you know, where one is able to be able to get that type of uh, experience. And like I keep going back to, you know, just adding to, to one's networks. So, I mean, we, we excited, uh, you know, being quite uh, taken aback by the interest that has been coming through. I mean, even uh, we've got as well, I, I did mention some of the other speakers before, but even Lyra, she's also going to be coming through just sharing her story because I mean, even somebody as, yeah, like Lyra, I mean, as an, yeah, yeah, Lyra the singer, yeah. Oh, uh, don't joke. <laughs> ah, you think we're playing here? Listen to this man. <laughs> We've even got an international speaker that's flying in. Futurist Kwame, who's based in Ghana, he's flying in. It's going to be amazing. Who is that? Futurist Kwame. So he is a oh, don't coach. joke. Yeah, no, we're not playing here. We're not playing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be amazing. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> I should say. Um, I think. I think I'm also a Kwame, I think. Kwame ah, then we receive you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kwame is exactly. when you're born when? On a, on a Thursday or Wednesday? Uh, I think it's uh, when you're born on a, on a, a, 
Saturday actually. Because my brother's Kwame, oh, yeah. so it's actually yeah. when you're born on a Saturday. So it's a yeah. given name yeah. given yeah. to I'm you Kwame. generally. Yeah. I a Ghanaian Kwame. born on a Saturday. Right. Really? I am Kwame. You can call me Kwame. I, I take that. And you got Kwame in the house. I really? Wow. Yeah. You guys have gone all out. You have. We have. We have. We have. What I'm, sc what I'm scared about is 2024. Mm. Mm. If mm. you've got a lineup like this one lined up already for 2023, what's going to be 2024 looking like? Um, Let me tell wow. you, I can't wait to see how God yeah. is going to show off in 2024. I cannot wait. Right. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as the plane lens, uh, let's all clap hands uh, for Papa Bees and Ed, the entrepreneur. And in the comments, uh, you will see that I'm going to pin a link. And within that pin, it's just going to basically say Entrepreneurs Year and Function 2023 and underscore the TJ Tribe there. And basically, um, I don't want you to click the, the wrong link. Uh, that's why I've put specifically this one here. Ah, on thanks for that. <laughs> and also at the bottom there, that's number one. And then number two, um, if you're a husband and wife, yeah, this is a directive. Ne? Mm. Uh, I'm not. I'm not suggesting. Go together mm. as husband and yeah. wife. Uh, but yeah. if life changes and you know things do happen. Um, I remember very well when I started going through to these things and my wife and I were talking about business for two years. I was, let's do this. Let's do this. And my wife was like, no, yeah. but we have the money. No, we are taking too risk. No. But the moment we started, both of us, our minds started opening, our conversations turned from, do you think this is right? We were now talking about how best can we do this? Yeah. Right. So, so take your, um, your bed partner, if you do have a bed partner, take your business partner, if you've got a business partner, uh, you, both your minds are going to explore. You come back to your business with a different lens altogether. And yes. 2024 will be very different. And why am I saying 2024? Remember, this event is on the 2nd of December. Right? Yeah. So, which yeah. means that you'll have the whole of the uh, 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 Christmas holidays to recoup. In 2024, you smash it with the information and the contacts that you will receive and get to connect with at the Entrepreneurs Year in 2023. Until we meet again, my dear friends, good luck to the event and we will see you there. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks so much. Eh? Have a good one. Yes.